Hello again. I'm going to talk about some of the features and how my still works. Again, continuous distillation apparatus. You pump beer into the top, into the front of it. It goes up to the top. Okay. And over there, way up at the top, that's what knocks the vapor and turns it from the steam into liquid. The liquid runs right back down into here, runs into the bucket. The liquid also runs through the valve, which is adjustable. The adjustable valve sets the proof, the percentage of alcohol you want. You need to adjust it once per different batch of beer. So if you're running 10% today, you have to adjust a little bit. Tomorrow, if you're running 4%, to try and get alcohol to 4% waste beer, absolutely this will do the job. You have a little bit of adjustment on that. One time for the run, and then it goes. Pretty proud of that little valve. It looks pretty simple, but it is works really neat. Um, this is the column that separates the alcohol from the, from the uh, water, filled with my secret packing, which I'm not going to tell you what it is. Down here is the rectifier section. The rectifier section, we actually insert the beer, the new beer that comes into it has been preheated three different times, trying to use reuse energy, so it's very efficient with energy. This squirts the beer in to this section where it settles down through here, and the steam, the boiler will the steam from the boiler at the bottom is coming up and, and driving the alcohol up and the water comes down. It's a turbulent, violent action inside of here. Um, this is kind of packing. It will not plug up over time. Again, I got pretty proud of my packing as well. It works really slick. From down here, it comes on down here. Down here at the bottom is your boiler. On the far side over here at the bottom of the boiler is a standard hot water heater element. Like I mentioned before, it runs on 3800 watts. Here in Idaho, 3,800 watts is just under four kilowatt hour, four kilowatt hours, which costs about 25 cents, uh, 25 cents a gallon to run to make alcohol. This valve is where the water comes off, the beer, the spent beer with no alcohol comes out, comes up into here into this heat exchanger. The heat exchanger, the hot water goes in the top of the heat exchanger. The warm, pre-warmed once beer comes in the bottom of the heat exchanger. They pass, they exchange heat, which is what a heat exchanger does. The beer goes in at a, right, at a correct temperature, which is designed again back into the whole system. The beer goes in, it's basically free heat, sort of, to go ahead and warm the beer up. That's why I can run it so hard and so fast with a limited amount of horsepower, a limited amount of BTUs, because I'm using heat exchangers. Again, there's three different heat exchangers in this system. Um, after, the, after the beer comes out of the heat exchanger, comes back into this level right here, and the warm beer, the spent beer, the whatever you want to call it, beer with no alcohol, falls back into the, falls into the, the waste. Um, as you notice, there are no moving parts. The only moving part of the entire system is a pump. Do you require a pump or a gravity? Got to be fairly good gravity, um, but a, a pump to pump the beer in. To run through all my heat exchangers, I need a very small pump. I'm using a 12 volt fuel pump. Um, thought about using a waterfall pump, low pressure, got to be able to deal with a little bit of junk though because you want to be able to run your beer through it. Um, again, really simple system, no moving parts. You got a little bit of adjustment when you change your formula or change your ratios or change your beer. But after that, away it goes. You can run it unattended, no big deal. Um, the dangers involved in this, that is an open tube. There is no pressure in this entire system. I use gravity. I use standard thermodynamic and physics to control my pressures to where they're running in atmospheric. There is no pressure. I got a three inch exhaust tube. This is, this is exhaust tubing. So anyway, thanks for your interest. Any questions, please give me a call. Uh, love to answer questions and talk about my really cool invention. Thank you.